Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. Giving you the truth. Raw. No fancy editing, no fancy studio. Y'all know I know how to talk. Y'all know I know what I'm talking about. Giving you the truth. The channel is no matrix. No matrix, no matrix. I ain't got around to that video yet. I'm going to break it right down for you as to what I mean by no matrix. And once you become no matrix, whether you're a male or female, the devil is going to have to fight extra hard to mess up your life because you're going to know the truth. You're going to know the truth. This is the Isaiah 4 and 1 series. Isaiah 4 and 1 says, in that day, what day? Towards the end of days. Seven women will take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own food, wear our own clothes, only let us be called by your name, take away our distress. We're not gonna say you have to be a high value man no more. We just want somebody. Ah. Man, listen, man, listen. Everybody ain't grifting on YouTube. Dudes is on this YouTube in this manosphere dropping pure gems, pure facts. Like I never felt like in my life that it was so many people that I could actually listen to. You know, this might not be a lot of people I could listen to about the scripture. I got that covered though. So man, my hat flat. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me turn this away. Let y'all see. Get on the walk. This area right here is not the worst, but it's not the best. Uh, there we go. Still flat, but that is better. Y'all already saw my hair anyway, but you know. So I never in my life seen so many people that I can actually get sharpened by, like in terms of earthly things, it's a lot of people. Now, mind it, you got a lot of people that act like they hate the Bible on here, but that's cool, you know. Y'all don't need them. So this one I wanna talk about celebrities, kind of. And I would entitle this with so many failing celebrity marriages, I might tweak the title. Does being high value really matter? And if it matters, then how does it matter? Listen, it doesn't. That's just something else that they kind of use to kind of even the playing field and shame men. Because if high value matters so much, all of them rappers, all of these celebrities will have excellent marriages. Something that I guarantee you the majority of them only stand together so they won't lose millions. Like they, some of them probably don't even like the person they with. They just don't want to lose everything they don't work for. And that's understandable to a certain extent. So it doesn't matter, man. Being high value doesn't matter. They'll still cheat on you. They'll still divorce you and take half of your money. They still will disrespect you. Ask LeBron, a man of his status and his wife, giving him the angry, disrespectful eyes and slapped his phone out of his hand, even if she was playing. That didn't look good. So that, like I said, is their excuse. Like these women, like I say all the time, guys is going to wake up and they're going to be like, you know what? You can have your preferences. And they're going to go over here and they're going to get these three over here who are tired of being by themselves. And they be like, you know what? I like him. I know him. I'm comfortable with him. We're going to have to have a sit down. And then they're going to sit down and they're going to meet his other women and they're going to form a team, an allegiance, an agreement. Y'all can't stop it, man. And I know a lot of women don't, they don't want that. They want to be able to 
like determine every nut you have and only allow you to bust your nut when they see fit, when they're not mad at you or this, that, and other. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. So imagine being a billionaire or being worth 400 million like Sylvester Stallone who is the latest divorce. I talked about that yesterday. And his divorce is over a dog. His wife got so mad over the dog that he wanted, and I believe he might have got it. He's a man. He wanted the dog. He's like, man, I ain't trying to hear what you're talking about. But that, you know, that dog is going to cost him hundreds of millions of dollars. That's why y'all got to realize, man, uh, hold on. Let me make. I can't get around. I can't get around this big truck. I ain't gonna even chest. So y'all gotta realize that you can't please these women. Like nothing against them. I told y'all I'm not the one who hates women or anything like that. But the truth is the truth, and the truth is you can't make them happy. You can't please. Them. They're supposed to be there to make you happy and to fill the voids that you may have, if any. Me, personally, I ain't got none. But he said it is not good that man should be alone. I will give him a help me. These women through the years done turned help me into hurt me. Hurt me. Disrespectful me. Say anything you want me. Deny sex me flirt around me. They done changed it to everything but help me. You know? And like I said, it doesn't matter if you're a celebrity or not, man. They do them the same way. Only difference with them is they be like, you know what? I'm going to stick around a little while. I don't even like him. But I'm going to stick around so I can get more when I toss him, when I leave him alone. So celebrities, you know, you think Steph, Steph Curry and Aisha probably arguing like cats and dogs. Like they probably just be going at it. Steph Curry got that little, little face, that little young looking face. Make you think he happy all the time, man. I guarantee you that dude will be probably arguing like cats and dogs. And now Dwayne Wade, who should have got the worst parent of the year, he got the best parent of the year or something like that. And everybody knew. I mean, that's so obvious. She wearing men's clothes. Now she just taking money, just throwing it at strip clubs with not, without him even knowing. But you know what? This is what happens when you lie to women. These dudes be making babies on these women. Do you think... So let me ask you something, man. Let me ask you something, uh, Dwayne Wade, number three. Did you think that you was going to make a baby on her and she just was like, oh, forgive me. Okay, where's she getting that? Where's she get such such love from? I'm stuttering. Where's she get such love from, man? Where you can make a baby, you can step out on her and she wasn't going to do anything in retaliation. You, you should have knew that was coming, man. You can't do that, man. You gonna do that? You need to tell them what what your uh, intentions are from the beginning. Y'all don't be want to do that. Y'all make false promises, and that's why some of them women be taking y'all money like that. Now some of them gonna try to get you regardless, cause we don't do the best job of picking who we with. Like we just we just go after this person, go after that person, but we don't vet them out and we don't. Uh, peep the scene whether or not this person is truly into us or not and we end up divorced because think about it think about how many and I, I can understand why Magic Johnson uh, kept going after Cookie I can understand that because if it's anything like the Lakers dynasty portrayed it she was into him regardless. Like, she was trying to... She didn't like the other dude. She wanted Mark Magic the whole time. 
She just wanted magic to stick to her. I got to be the only one. You know how they get. Where they want to regulate nothing. Excuse my language, man. But the truth is the truth. Stop putting me in with all them T.D. Jake Joes and all them. They use the same words I use. They just probably use them behind closed doors. So stop trying to put me in there with those preachers who be holding back and don't tell y'all the truth. You should want to give your money and your support and your encouragement to a preacher that's going to be genuine. That you can know. That you can call him up on his phone. Like, like when I get my church, they can call me up on my phone. But I'm going to tell them, like, hey, man, up front, like, hey. Like, I'll probably be in church and be like, hey, man, uh, don't nobody call me after, after nine. Because I'm going to be unavailable. If you try to call try to call me after nine I'm, you ain't gonna get no answer you gotta be reachable y'all be super chatting these dudes that don't even hold legitimate conversations with y'all don't respond to none of their comments like that just seemed like a grift to me man like you can't take the time out to respond to some comments like even if you stretch it over the course of a week you have 100 comments, you'd be like, okay, I'm going to respond to 15 comments a day. By the end of the week, you have been unresponded to all the comments. But y'all, you know, y'all got an unhealthy interest in people who not interested in you. That's just how people is, man. Like, that's weird. That's why these women want pookies. And that's why... They could have a $360 million man at home and then they want a a, a little uh, R&B singer that ain't even worth a tenth of what he's worth. That's what happens. But y'all have an unhealthy interest in people not interested in y'all. And that's why so many guys get hit with alimony. Because think about it. You married a woman that's into you. If she don't change, she's going to be a, a keeper. If Or if she, well, she's going to change. But if she don't change too much, if she don't change too much, it might be worth your while. But what do guys do? They want the tight stuff. They want the, 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 the lightest skin. I mean, hey, hey man, there's some people preference. They want the lightest skin. And some dudes want the darkest one. You know, you know how people be. They judge the person by the, the attributes that they like and that they want. And that's how you end up divorced. And then, you know what's stupid about it? People change. Their looks gonna change and they're gonna change. But when you, like, you know how you young, you don't think about that. That's why these goofies be just like Goofy on uh, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Cheating and lying. I didn't do that. I was over Roger House. I was over my boy house. And he was clapping, annihilating. Like, what's that smell then? I don't know. But yeah, man, uh... They, that celebrity status, that high value man, that hundred thousand a year, it don't matter, man. They just trying to get something that they can take from, you. and that's ninety percent of. Them. They just want to take, and take, and take. But, yeah, this ends the Isaiah four and one for today. The channel is the No Majors, No Simping, All Subjects channel. Listen, man. Stop trying to impress them and live your life. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your money. Enjoy your food. Make some goals. Set some goals and achieve some things for yourself, man. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Or maybe later. Maybe later with more videos.